What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the iPhone 12 Pro Max and I should say this is probably one of the last cases for the 12 series so RIP to the 12 series we got the 13s coming in you know we're gonna do it strong we got all the phones coming in um, all the lots of cases we're gonna we're gonna hit those really really hard so if you guys have any suggestions in the comment section let me know what you guys want to see me review it definitely gets as many as I possibly can so this is gonna be an Incipio case dual pro this is gonna be that you know, crystal clear for the most part case but the big part about this one you got that 12 foot drop protection so when you see a case like this you're like wow clear case 12 foot drop protection that's some big boy drop protection so let's go and get right to it on the back gonna tell you a little more details of what you're gonna get and easy access for the case let's go and check this out to see if it's a hit or miss all right so my first impressions dual pro so that means you actually do got a dual layer case so you can see Let's go and check this out. So you can see you got a TPU style case on the middle here or on the interior and it's a hard shell plastic, it's trying to semi plastic -y feel on the back of it. So it's a nice, nice protection there. You got dual protection, still got the crystal clear. Now, one thing I noticed, um, so you got this grippy material around the edges right here and that's on the gel style part. However, the hard shell plastics right over top of that so you're not getting any of that grip material on the on the actual case itself. So it's still slippery, which kind of doesn't make a lot of sense. It's kind of counterintuitive to me. I think that this particular case, they might have just slapped this gel style case. You probably use this on your own as well. Let's go and see. So I think that's what they did. Yeah, I think that that's what they did. They probably sell this case on its own where it's got that nice grippy material. But then you can see... And then you slap it inside this hard shell plastic. Now, again, you're not getting that grip on the hard shell plastic. So that's kind of a, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure why they did what they did there. It's not the end of the world, but just not a lot of grips. So it's going to take out this case right here. It's going to wipe it down, wipe it down to that beautiful, beautiful, we'll call it space gray, even though I know it's not graphite, whatever you want to call it. To me, it's space gray. Clean it up real nice. Still looking beautiful. Get that trade-in value or whatever you guys are going to sell it on the market. Whatever you're doing for your 12s, RIP to the 12 series. Let's go and slap it into place like that. All right, I think I missed a piece of dirt, but we're going to roll with it. Slaps right like this. Boom. This is definitely a big boy case. I see that piece of dirt that I missed right there. Definitely the OCD would kick in. That's why I'm not a big fan of these clear cases because of that. You see a piece of speck of dirt you missed and that just pops through now huge case that actually you can see why you're getting that extra protection but it's very slippery it's huge it's a big phone anyways so you got a slippery case on top of that i'm not a huge fan of this one ah uh, yeah there's just not enough grip there's just no grip at all to this particular case and it just feels slippery my first impressions i got the logo right there everything looks crystal clear i like the way they did Camera protection, you can see the extra camera protection. You got a little bit of, um, you can see right here, I like this too. You see these little corners? This is the kind of details you're not getting on all the channels. This is why you come to the big unbox. I appreciate you guys. You can see these corners right here, how those are raised up, all four corners. Now what that does, it creates a barrier between your case and then whatever surface that you're using. So it raises it up. That means you're not going to get this material scratched up as much as you normally would, which is a nice selling point. To me, I really like the attention to detail. It's not that big a difference, but you get that little benefit where you're not getting scratched up after day five. So I appreciate that. Camera protection looks decent. Let's go and check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lip. Lip protection looks really fat. I like that. Look at that. Look how thick that lip is. That's some big boy lip protection. Let's wipe it down clean up the screen real quick it's probably my daily driver for the past you know i switch on and off between iphones but the big boy max is probably what i use the most because of the uh, battery life look at that fat lip very very nice lip protection so nicely done uh alert slider easy access um, buttons are actually surprisingly pretty clicky for that gel style material, they didn't switch out the buttons or anything like that, but the buttons right there feel decent enough. I don't have a problem with those. Speaker looks good. Power looks good. 
And then power button again, same clicky and responsive. I like the buttons. Overall, here's my thing with this one. It's a big boy case. You got big boy protection. There's just not enough grip for me. I think they could have done something on the sides to give you that grip. It's a huge phone. It's a big case. Give you some grip. It feels very slippy. For that alone, I cannot recommend this case. It retails for probably about 40 bucks probably 30 to 40 bucks you probably get a lot of discount right now with the with the sale you know with the 12 going out but to me i can't recommend this case because of the lack of overall grip protection so for me i'll put it a pass on this one i'm gonna call it a miss let me know your thoughts in the comment section is it a hit is it a miss we'll call it a miss hit this subscribe button i'll see you guys next time